Hi, Tracy here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up hosting with HostGator.com. In the last video, I showed you how to register a domain name with GoDaddy. Well, in this video, after we get our hosting set up, we're going to go back over to GoDaddy and we're going to set those domain name servers to point over to our new hosting setup over at HostGator. Okay, let's get started. The first thing I need you to do is go over to genesisblogging.com and you'll see right here I have a hostgator.com banner. And there is a coupon code on this banner and if you click it, you can get started with Hostgator for only one cent. One penny. That's it. That is pretty awesome. So when you click that code, that is going to take you over to the Hostgator site and that'll land you right over here to this page. And um, you'll see right here they show their most popular hosting plan is this one that showed over in the banner that starts at $7.95 a month. And that gives you unlimited disk space, unlimited bandwidth, and you get to host unlimited websites. These aren't subdomains, these are actual domains hosted under this one account. This is fabulous if you're um, like an internet marketer and you have several niche sites that you need to set up a different site for each niche that you're working with or say you're just someone who has a lot of hobbies or you just want to set up a different site for you know different things or friends or relatives or you know whatever your purpose is for setting up multiple sites this would just be one flat fee and you would then be able to set up many many sites unlimited number of websites under this one account absolutely fabulous option. Uh, can't beat that. So if you click that you can come over here and you have the choice between Linux and Windows web hosting. I personally prefer the Linux myself. Um, that gives me the cPanel and I, and I really like that. So that by default that's the, um, the tab that it's going to be under. And there's three hosting plans. Um, I personally, although the Hatchling is, is not a bad deal, you can only host one domain on that one. Um, and then you've got the baby and the business. Um, the business is good um, and, and I would normally probably get that um, because you can get a free dedicated IP and the free secure certificate but for our purposes today I'm going to go ahead and um, get the baby package and it starts at $7.95 a month. Now if you'll notice if you mouse over this it pops up and it says it pays uh, if you pay three years in advance that's when it equates to $7.95 a month. Okay, if you pay two years in advance, it's going to equate out to $8.95 a month, but if you pay monthly, it's actually $9.95 per month. Still, that is an excellent value for what you're getting. Um, there's a lot of other hosting places on the web, and you're not going to get unlimited disk space, un unlimited bandwidth, and the ability to host an unlimited number of domains on one package for ten dollars a month with the quality of service that you get with HostGator. I mean they're listed in one of the top ten hosting companies on the web so you can't go wrong with them. So we're gonna click to order now and um, I'm gonna tick this. Now they HostGator does register domain names but we already registered one um, yesterday in the other video if you did not do that and you would prefer to register go ahead and register yours with uh, HostGator you can do that but um, I registered mine already so I'm going to enter in um, my information for the one that I want to have them host and I'm going to click next make sure you got your information entered in there correctly okay and then this is where I'm going to enter in my coupon code which was WordPress and then you click calculate totals because I've selected the monthly option okay and I'm going to select new customer and then continue okay now on this page this is where you would enter in all your information to set up your account with HostGator as a new customer um, and all your username, your password, your credit card information, all that kind of stuff and you would verify your order. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, enter in my information and I will be right back and I will be on the next screen when we resume. Okay, 
I have completed the payment and it brought me to my confirmation page. Come over here to GoDaddy and log and click Go. Okay, so you already have an account. We set that up when we registered our domain name um, in the previous video. Okay, once you're logged in, you want to click and you want to go down to whichever domain name it is that you're working with and in this case I am working with the Genesis I in business and once you check it it'll activate all these um, options up here you want to click manage name servers okay and then we want to tick the custom name servers okay now that's the ones that are the hosted for GoDaddy ones now I have copied and pasted the um, information from the email that I received from HostGator with my hosting information. And so I want to paste that in right here, the first one, and then you have to have two of them. And so I'm going to copy and I'm just going to paste in that second one. Paste that in and I'm going to click OK. and no thanks just set my name servers and it says please allow a few minutes for the changes to take effect I'm going to click OK um, and that's pretty much it now sometimes um, you, that site will come up um, pretty quickly sometimes it takes a little bit for the site to come up um, sometimes they say it takes 24 to 48 hours yeah see it's still showing that it's parked at GoDaddy um, and I literally did this in real time without any stopping so um, usually you need to allow 24 to 48 hours anytime you make any domain name server changes at your domain registrar whether it's GoDaddy or any other registrar um, you know where you might register your name Do GoDaddy is actually very very quick um, I've actually had it where I've made changes to a domain name and within minutes it's changed um, but that you know it's not always the case and they do tell you to allow 24 to 48 hours but anyway that is the changes that that you know how simple it is to set up your hosting space and to, to change the name servers for your domain name um, so let me show you how you can log into your hosting before your domain name resolves it is possible so let me show you how to do that okay um, what I've done is in the information in email that they sent me from HostGator they gave me the information that I could view my site before the domain name actually resolved and was pointing to the hosting and you can access it by the IP address up here and they actually give you the you know the way to do that you use your username and password and when you first log in you can either you go through their getting started help um, information and click that or you know if you don't want to watch their video tutorials which they, you know they're pretty good I've watched them before but I don't need those um, you you can just check that you don't need that and this is what it looks like on the inside of a HostGator control panel so just thought I would show you that really quickly just so you can see what that looks like but that's a whole other video but I just wanted to show it from um, hosting setup through transferring the domain name to the hosting to actually logging in even before the domain name was actually resolved that you could go in and kinda poke your head under the hood so to speak and see what's going on so there you have it uh, got your hosting set up got your domain name pointing and you are good to go to get started next video I'm going to show you how to set up WordPress the easy way alright speak to you soon